guys so we're just gonna jump right into it I'm using a mesh wig cap this is my hot glue gun I am doing the hot glue method and I got this from Hobby Lobby along with the glue sticks for the hair that I'm using I'm using Desore hair and this is their Malaysian loose wave hair I got the inches 18 20 with the 18 inch closure and I did use two 120 218 and the closure was 18 inches as well so this is just what it looks like and um, I really do like the closure on this unit. It was super easy to bleach the knots and yeah, it just worked with me really, really well as far as plucking goes as well. And you do get lashes and these are the ones that I'm wearing in the picture that I'm referencing this wig to. So to start off, I just adjust my wig cap and I adjust the closure on the wig cap. I like to line mine up with like the edges of the closure with the edges of my wig cap and it doesn't really matter if it's a little too far to the left like you guys can see mine is um, once you put the wig on you can fix it and adjust it however you want so i'm just going to pin those down and then i'm going to wrap up the closure and sew the closure down so this is all the sewing that you guys are going to be doing super easy Now I'm just stretching out my wig cap and pinning it down so that my wig cap is expanded and I can get the full, you know, the full um, effect of the wig cap so it doesn't shrink or anything. Um, and my mannequin head is 22 inches by the way. So now I'm just literally hot gluing the hair onto the wig and it is that simple. In the back, I did double weft the hair. So prior to the video, I like took one track and I basically like glued it to itself to make the hair thicker and then I glued it straight onto the wig cap just like that but you don't have to do that you can just double weft it and like glue it as you go so just double weft the back and then as you get towards the top as you guys will see I did single wefts the glue will get stuck to your mannequin head if you're using this canvas or even if you're using styrofoam so be careful you can put something under it if you want I didn't because I don't mind pulling it off
So now I'm finishing it up and I'm just combing everything out. And I'm gonna take down my closure and flip it over and bleach the knots on it. I use Clairol. Oh, I'm cutting out the um, remaining cap. I use Clairol Developer 40 and I use BW2 Bleach. And that's what I always use. And I make mine kind of like a toothpaste consistency and it worked really well. So that's basically all that I did. I did pluck it, but if you guys want to see how I customize wigs, which I guess this kind of goes with customizing, but I decided to just record it anyway. But if you guys want to see how I customize my wigs, then leave me a comment down below. So I did pluck the wig and then I cut the hair a little bit and I put some wand curls in it and they look really, really good. I really like it. Um, this is like 24 hours after I curled it, so yeah i didn't straighten it or anything i just went straight to curling it because the hair dries so fluffy and beautiful so yeah if you guys like this video be sure to give me a huge thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe and thank you so much to Desor hair for sponsoring this video i really appreciate it so you guys make sure to check out their hair down below it is beautiful you guys can see um yeah i'll be sure to leave all links down below like i said huge thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys later